What's up everybody, World of Devin here, and uh, this um, whole thing is just to tell you to check out both of these videos, let me know what you think. Also subscribe to my channel and let me know what you want me to react to. Uh, I really love doing these reaction videos for you guys, and let's hope we can push out more and put out more quality material because once again, I do this for you guys, not me. It's fun for me, but I do it for you guys. So subscribe and let me know what you want me to react to. Re react to. And I will also be putting my Facebook link right in this area somewhere. And also my Twitter link and my Instagram link. And make, sure, make sure you go check those out and you let me know what you think of these videos. Enjoy the reaction. For y'all to see, but you can't see my face unless I turn my hat backwards like this. There you go. Hello. Reaction Exchange here with the World of Devin segment. Today we are here to react to the top 10 most insane houses you won't believe exist. And this is from Top 5 Central, which I did a reaction to their video yesterday. Perry just dropped something. Let us see that. Anyway, we're going to get right into the reaction video. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Hit the subscribe button, also hit that bell for more notifications from me. I'll come to you. Also, let me know what you want me to react to next, and I got you. Found hashtag R-A-N. Now, hit that Patreon and donate whatever you can, whatever you do. I will really appreciate it. Nothing is too much or too little for moi. Let's get into this track video, you guys. Let's go. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today, we're looking at the top 10 houses you won't believe exist. All right. Now, before we even get into this video, oh, see through house, house elevators. Weekly, you won't believe exists video starting today. If you want to suggest our next episode, all you have to do is simply be subscribed and comment whatever you want to see for a possible shout out. Craziest car in the week, world. We'll be shouting out our subscriber Dylan's. Thanks for the suggestion. But anyways, with that said, let's get right into the video. Number ten. Okay, I think we've all heard the nursery rhyme about the old woman who lives in a shoe, but I bet you didn't Whoa. once upon a time somebody built it for real. For like windows. I'm not even joking, in 1948 a shoe salesman had it built, and apparently it's just stuck around, passing from owner to owner ever since. Whoa. I mean, I find it pretty insane, because you could literally eat breakfast in the kitchen underneath the heel, or even sleep under the shoelaces, so it's a pretty awesome Whoa. place to Well, that is as long as you could deal with the fact that every inch of the place is covered in, you guessed it, shoes. <sighs> The shoe house is modeled after. This is insane! That's Look at this! One of the windows, and that was his best selling shoe that he had. This is right out of the a shoe fairy tale. This is 25 foot high, 48 foot long, so there's a little over 1,500 square feet inside. As we go through the shoe, you're going to notice a definite shoe theme inside here. Uh, when we took This is dope looking. Ago, like, I'm not, even, I'm not even lying here. And how many shoes we have in here? I have no idea. Maybe a thousand? We get the shoes from all over the. I just can't explain it. I always tell everybody, I didn't pick the shoe house. The shoe house picked me. Oh, so she lives there. Number nine. So most people have been told they're living in a bubble at least once or twice, but the question is, would you ever do it for real? If you said yes, then I have some good news and some bad news, as this bubble oh. house in the south of France is now totally up for grabs, but you have to shell out 300 million pounds if you want to get your hands on it. Three hundred million dollars? Ten rooms, three swimming pools, and a theater for five hundred people. This is the type people. of rapper can get that. And you can split it with some friends. Whoa. Music! No! I put that down. That looks dope. Honestly. Look at the water fall. Fall. That is. Wow. I am insanely amazed at that. Number eight. Now, unless you're secretly either a mermaid or a hermit crab, you probably never thought about living in I'm either. I checked. But this house just might change your mind. Ooh, the seashell house. Are up on Airbnb, so Reminds me of the planet on Valerian in the city of Thousand Planets at the beginning. The seashell planet? I mean, you gotta watch the movie. There's even a private pool that. to use as your very own ocean. Don't worry, though. If you need something a little bit bigger, then the actual ocean is 15 minutes away by golf cart. Whoa, really? Number seven. Having your world turned upside down is usually a bad thing. Whoa, an upside down house. So they built an upside down house. 
I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like, a three-story house with every table, chair, and bed stuck to the ceiling. Like, there's even an upside-down car in the garage. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, obviously it's not a house you could live in, but it's still one of the water to crazy out? little details or the mind-blowing pictures you could take. Wow. Your cool. eyes aren't deceiving you. The I thought they were. The gravity hasn't been found. This is, perhaps equally unusually, an upside-down house. The three-story house in Taiwan has been furnished mm. with real-sized tables, chairs, and crockery. It even rather bizarrely has a car stuck to its ceiling. Hundreds of visitors have come to visit the American country-style home, the ideal photo op setting. The house is 334 square meters and includes a living room, a bathroom, and a garage, and took around two months and a hair-raising 600,000 US dollars to make. This exhibition certainly seems to be turning things on its head. Whoa. Number six. So you don't need a huge house to be happy, but I think this might be pushing it just a little bit too far in the other direction. I mean, technically the world's narrowest house is in our project, and no one's supposed to live there for long, which is good because I'm pretty sure anyone permanently moving in would probably just lose their mind. Oh yeah, it'd like, be even too, the too close for only 112 centimeters across, and even though it has everything you would need in a home, it's not exactly built for comfort. A good tip here is that if a house is on stilts and you need a ladder to get into it, living there is probably going to test your patience. <laughs> ain't, ain't, ain't that true. This is the world's narrowest house located in Warsaw, Poland. Yes, the gap between the buildings. Give me a minute. It's a I'll, be real house. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. When you enter through a door that's about as wide as the house itself, a staircase leads up to the second floor of the residence. The structure is about 120 centimeters, or 47 inches, at its <gasps> widest point, and 71 centimeters, or 28 inches, at its narrowest. <clears throat> Feels restrictive? Well, that's the intention, so invited guests will know what it feels like to live in a surrounding that restricts your every motion. The project's PR manager, Maciej Kowinski, has already spent a few days here. Number five. Hmm. Honestly, I think we've all been there as a kid when you want to go outside and skate, but the weather is just too bad. Well, the sensible thing to do would be to wait for the rain to stop. But these guys were once to be in a house where every inside surface is skatable. I mean it, like even the bed in the kitchen islands can be used for skating, and every room is basically just one giant half pipe, so you can pretty much wow. go wild. With that said, I'd probably stay away from skating at the dinner table, because skating and eating always ends in a disaster. Yeah. Hello, my name is uh, Gilles Lebon de la Pointe, and I'm uh, the designer of the what you can see here, the, the bath house, and house you can skate inside, a mix of uh, a livable area and uh, kind of a skate park ramp. Actually, we are in the prototype. Oh, you can live there. Uh, like 100% uh, scale of uh, a real uh, dream for a skateboard. We try to basically uh, see how uh, the skateboard can by the way, you guys, I'm at 300 subscribers right now, so let's subscribe. Let's subscribe. I never put out a really, uh, um, I never really put a, you know, limit. But let's get to, let's get us to 400. Come on, let's get us to 400. Now, some people can make themselves at home on a plane, even if it's just for a few hours. But this guy decided that he wanted to do it forever. Now, the answer to your question is no. He wasn't stranded on a desert island and forced to call the wreck of his crash plane home. Oh. He just thought it would be a waste to let such a huge, ready-made space get destroyed, so he turned it into his new crib. Oh. With that said, it's pretty basic. Now, when a city is doing well, normally they sell Ooh, a party or inviting a celebrity to cut a ribbon, not by building the biggest to scale instruments in the world. That is With that dope! Said, a piano and violin building in China might be the prettiest house on this list, and if not, then it's definitely the most romantic. Wow. It's kind of funny, it's apparently I'm not the only one who thinks so either, because so many people want to get married there that the piano house even has a dedicated space for weddings. As if that wasn't enough, it lights up at night. Whoa! And it's making it such an awesome place to live. I've lost my mind, dude. Now I'll be real, I can't actually imagine anyone living in this next house. Leave me a comment down below if you think you could handle it. Well, Anyways, this tree house doesn't have any rooms, doors, or walls. Instead, everything is set out on a variety of platforms, all connected with ladders and stairs. Oh, yeah. Now, I know what you're thinking, so don't worry. They're like Glass a place like a bathroom, but that doesn't change the fact that everyone can hear everything that's happening in the house. Not only that, but it's literally made of glass, so everyone outside can see in as well, which kind of sucks if you want to have some privacy. Right, well, the people in San Francisco don't care, apparently. Hmm.
music everywhere. But do they care? Nope. That is weird, though. Number one. Now, so far, scientists have figured out a way for us to abandon land and live under the sea for time, and I think this might be a pretty good second option. Like, I know the Casa Brutal sounds pretty intimidating, but it's actually quite luxurious. I mean, it's built for six people and even has a rooftop pool looking directly out into the sea. In fact, the whole building is built into the side of a cliff, so you're super hidden and have a ridiculous amount of privacy, unlike our last spot. But what if the water now, rises up? There's no way to get more peace and quiet, but whoever you're living with will basically be your only company, so definitely don't bring someone who you find annoying. And there's our video on the top 10 houses you won't leave exist. Jesus! If you enjoyed the that video, was awesome. don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever I upload a video. I think I did already. Also, if you have your own top 5 or top 10 idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Wow. Interesting. Really interesting. Like he said, we'll see you all. Got, we'll see you all in the next video. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell for my notifications for me. I'll come to you. Also, let me know what you want me to react to next, and I got you. Hashtag R E N. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video, though. Peace out.